Hello everybody, I'm Slashing VC. Let's get back into it with some Cataclysm. Here's our characters. Wrong button. Here's our characters, Kenji Gurakawa and Bertie Hodges. They are gonna loot the city. Let's go drop off some of these loots in our vehicle. I just realized that I did not uh, click to remember the vehicle position, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to forget where this vehicle is. Oops. Remember? There we go. I'm not going to forget where that is, but, um, barely human spotted. Just in case, might as well. I'm going to drop all my loots off in here. Hey, Birdie, hop on out of there for me. Thank you for shutting that behind you. See where this feral human is. Oh, we don't see her. Feral. First goal is to get to this two-story house right here so we can get a view of the city. I think I want to go through the alleyway to do that, though. We'll go out through the window. And then in through the window or on from the screened in porch. I'm say we just go in through a window. Oh, we've got zombies inside. Uh, oh, this is the garage. Okay, there's a lawnmower here. Miscellaneous repair kit. We'll take that. Don't know what I'm going to do with turpentine. Don't need a saw. What kind of boots are these? Rubber boots. That's uh, more protective for Birdie, but also going to slow her down some. She's already kind of slow. I'm gonna grab them. We don't need a sponge that I'm aware. And we have scissors. Probably the usual stuff in the trunk. Yeah, screwdriver set, which I think we already have. Just for fun, we'll examine the vehicle, and it looks like another working vehicle. I mean, I cannot do wrong with vehicles. Just for fun, we'll remember this vehicle's position in case we need a backup. All right, Bertie, look sharp. I think we're going to see some activity when I open this door. Let's peek in. Mm, nothing but a bloody sink down there. Oh, there he is. Back up one so we can do this together. Ooh, he grabbed me. My theoretical understanding of bashing weapons has increased. Theoretical understanding? I thought I had a pretty good bashing weapon stat, but apparently not. And get through my heart. All right, well, thanks for all the help, Birdie. Might need to get her to follow me a little closer. Let's drop the fire axe long enough to stop the bleeding, hopefully. Shelled almonds, we'll just take any food item we can find. Steel toed sneakers, I don't know how to know whether they fit her. I knew that. That would help. I assume she's the same size I am, though. I don't know why I assume that. But I guess because none of her stuff said extra small or extra large. Okay, not seeing much right away. These people love their yogurt and hard cheese. Orange soda. Stout, I guess we'll pick up. And pickles. This is all the usual stuff. Um, I always considered these to be good finds, but I'm finding so much of it. Extension cord, flashlight, hammer, matchbook, outdoor extension cord. Screwdriver, exacto knife. Uh, uh, grab the zipper bags and garbage bags. I was reading on Reddit, somebody was talking about being able to uh, fill up garbage bags and drop them off as... Loot, loot hordes or whatever. I don't think I'm smart enough to do all that, but it sounds like a good idea. Right, we're one house from our destination. Hey, we got a nice little fireplace here, isn't it? Yeah, sure enough. Amplifier circuit. We can actually get circuits like that by disassembling electronics we've looted, so I'm not too concerned about it. What is that? Chopsticks. Okay. Thought it was like a cricket bat or something. Got a game of Battle Hammer 20k. 
door is locked. I'm gonna smash my way in. Could he use the Halligan bar, but oh well. Can sealer instructions and crafty crafters quarterly. Pretty sure I've read these books before. Zombie dog hasn't seen us yet. Just to find out whether we've read these books before, I should be able to hit read. Okay, I have read the can sealer instructions. I haven't read Crafty Crafters Quarterly. What does it tell me? You can bring fabrication to one, and I already have a fabrication of three. It doesn't say that it has any recipes either. So, I already have both of these books. Let's just uh, drop them both. Aha! Got a zombie right out there outside the bathroom. What is the move cost? Oops, I meant to check the move cost first. Move cost 200 on a whole bathtub. This is going to be uh, take me a long time to retreat across it, but that's all right. Um, pretty, come up here. Oh, oh he's already inside. Forget whether I got the soap. Okay, what do we got here? Codeine, antiseptic, heartburn, multivitamins. I don't think I need the adhesive bandages. This door is locked. Alright, this time we'll apply the Halligan bar. Ooh, leather trench coat, you say? Thing is, that's going to conflict with either one of our armor ca uh, armors. We've got the riot suit, and I've got the riot suit. The leather trench coat is compatible. Okay. Basketball shorts, copper bracelet, corrective sunglasses, thermal electric suit. Wow, there was a lot of clothing in here. Wool gloves might be nice. She needs a shirt, if I'm not mistaken. Well, no, she needs pants. Better pants. Um, ah, leather pants. Bam. That's what she needs right there. Uh, long underwear bottom would be close to the skin, too. Uh, I don't know if her scarf is wool. I'll we'll take one of those. I don't know that she has socks, either, so I'll take one of those. Protective mouthpiece. Jean jacket, knit hat, <coughs> and a thick wall onesie. Let's talk to her real quick about her uh, clothing selections. There's something I want you to do. I want you to use this item. Put on the uh, leather pants. She says, okay, she'll wear that. Now I need to trade away the pants she's got, I think. Here we go. Because she's carrying a bunch of clothing she doesn't really need to carry. She's not wearing the flip-flops. Okay, what kind of shoes is she wearing? Uh, items worn. Sunglasses, gloves, bags, scarf, pants, belt, pants. Okay, you need to take these pants off. Wait, unless they don't conflict, we should check first. She's not wearing any shoes. She's carrying flip-flops and wearing no shoes. Um, okay, then we need to go back and grab those rubber boots for her. Give me the flip-flops, the striped shirt, and the tights, please. And, uh, I want to size up her... Um, yeah, I want to look at... How do I check her encumbrance problems? I thought we'd looked at that before. It's rules, abilities... Let's go. Sort armor. <clears throat> okay, the panties and the hot pants are still conflicting. 
So she needs to choose whether she wants the panties or the hot pants on. But neither one of those is conflicting with the leather pants, so that's good. The fact that she has no shoes on disturbs me. I think that's part of her speed problem, actually. Jean jacket. Alright. Okay, swap positions with me. Let's go get you a pair of shoes. Now, these shoes are uncomfortable and encumbering. Oh yeah, I already grabbed them. Okay. But, that being said, they offer a lot of protection. So, she could, I uh, want you to use these socks. Alright, and I also... want you to use the rubber boots that I picked up, I think. Huh. Yeah, use the rubber boots. Can't wear more than one rigid item on the left foot. Can I take something off? Um, left foot arch. I'm um, sorry. What were you wearing there? Like an anklet or something? don't know. But anyway, her feet are sort of encumbered now, but they're very protected. So I think we're good. What did she drop? Oh, she dropped the riot armor suit. What? I didn't realize that conflicted. Okay, never mind. Get the riot armor suit. Oh, so glad I checked. Something I want you to do. I want you to use this item. Right armor suit. Take something off. Okay, so the rubber boots conflict. And she's probably got that in her inventory now. I'll let her carry it for now. Okay. Anyway, we got her some better pants. Basically wearing whatever the hot pants are. Okay, zombie dog has spotted us. Good. Can't get her up to the window, but the the nice thing, like if I if I change her commands to be closer to me, God, Bertie Hodges is just cussing up a storm. If I order her to get closer to me, then I'm afraid she's gonna walk through the windows. So as it is, I can always battle them in the windows and then move back, and she can join in the combat. So I guess that's the method we'll use right now. Then there's a tough zombie on the horizon. this house clear. Now we're almost to the two-story house. Okay, they got a pool out front. And they're surrounded by fences. I like the fences. They could conceal danger. One zombie has seen us up here to the north. I guess we'll just hang out here for a second. Skeletal zombie to the south. Okay. Catch him coming through the window. And with one hit, 34 damage. We don't have a lot of HP, it seems. Right, that just leaves the uh, brainless one, so we ought to be able to move toward this house. Aid zombie has spotted us. Hear Birdie saying, Wake up, something's up. Is that shuffle? Alright, so the way to get her up to the window is just to hop out and hop back in. 
my left eye. Okay, we're good. Up the fence. Oh, the other thing that I thought about giving her, and I know that one of the zombie runners dropped it, was a uh, wetsuit. Uh, we could get stuck in that bathroom. Well, no. Door's open. It leads to the house. We should be fine. What do we got here? Shaving kit, multivitamins, hydrogen peroxide. We got a lot of that stuff. Soap bars. Uh, we can pick... We can wash dirty stuff uh, forever. As much soap as we're going to be picking up. There's more soap. Uh, somebody in the comments suggested that we use a burning building to initially clear the city, so yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Throw a noisemaker down in this house and set it on fire, something like that. I think we'll have to craft a noisemaker. I don't think we have a talking doll or anything. Okay, all we're seeing is just houses, houses, houses. What kind of house is that? Just a different kind of house in a community garden. Anything real unusual? Dust mask. Right. So we've got two zombies visible in here. What else we got sitting around? Not a whole lot. And the staircase is below me. Let's go ahead and take out this uh, brainless one. Pink tabs and antipsychotics. Never underestimate the brainless zombies. Loot potential, I say. East, you hear a womp. Thank you for shutting that behind you, my dear. Do we want to inspect the basement? Well, of course we do, right? Let's turn on our flashlight if we have one. This time, we're not going to forget to turn it on, right? Let's take a peek downstairs. Not hearing or seeing anything down here yet. Got some boxes for our buddy Dino Dave, so I guess we'll hop down here. And the sack of commercial fertilizer. Take the thread. Electric spin wheel. I think we've already got something to spin thread, so no. And I get in here, do like this, disassemble this, and I apply the box that I'm in. Yeah, I think we've got to maybe use the build menu to deconstruct furniture. And... Large cardboard box is disassembled. We ought to then be able to fold it up. Wonder what you do with these large boxes then. Jack Straw's murder mystery large cardboard box. I can't apply it because it doesn't fit in any pocket. Alright, let's try wielding it first then. I don't even know where it went. Let's search for it. Okay, we're gonna wield the box, then apply the box, fold it up. You can deploy or fold. Okay, that's how that's done. Let's break them down. I could probably just smash them, you know, but let's leave it the way it is. Oh, speaking of not having talking dolls, there's two of them. And a basketball. I've been wanting a ball to practice my dodge with. Excellent. A headlamp. I haven't seen one of those before. Not interested, I don't think. LED headlamp. Comfortably worn on your head or attached to your helmet. Well, if I can attach that to my helmet, I might do that. Boots and a rubber belt. Alright, let's just grab that stuff. 
Do I apply the headlamp to put it on? No, you apply it to turn it on. Um, attach it to my helmet. That's not how you do it. Oh, well. Moving on. What are we going to do? Deconstruct all of these boxes? Yeah, I guess. Got bubble wrap, screwdriver, sterling engine kit. Got an engine that runs on alcohol. Probably doesn't do much. I'm guessing. I mean, does it, it? No, it shouldn't do anything. I don't. Wouldn't think it would just run on alcohol. Sterling engine kit instructions. <clears throat> oh. Stem kit box. Bubble wrap, screwdriver, bubble wrap, and a sterling engine kit. That's what contains. Oh, I see. That's what contains all those things. Gotcha. Leather belt, leather corset, my little Nazgul t shirt. Uh huh. Um. Yeah, okay. Well, um. In case that turns out to be useful, I'll make a map note here. I guess. Make a new note. Sterling engine. Electric blankets and stuff. And of course, water that's in the hot water heater. Alright, let's get disassembling. Okay, she won't walk toward me to help me, so I need to encourage her to get beside me if I want to find something. So like on this case, does she have to be next to me or next to what I'm working on? Here's my question. Yep, she assists me with the work, okay. Cool. Man, Dino Dave is gonna be so excited when he sees all this cardboard. still can't store the cardboard box in my inventory even though it's folded. And I hope Dino never wants large cardboard boxes. That would become a real pain in the butt. If we drop it there, what's there? Just the card folded cardboard. Okay. I'm gonna have to drag these out of here. My map note will just have to be about these cardboard boxes. All right, now I feel like we're wasting our time because I can't just throw those into my backpack like I'd like to. So let's wield the fire axe again and get back into it. Staircase blocked. Yeah, there's a bookcase in the way. There's some good books on it. Let's grab the bookcase and see if we can push it out of the way. It collides with something. Oh, a blocked staircase up. Intrigued. Take the books. I said, you need to move, fella. Got it? Stay frosty. Something is happening. Can I just squeeze by you? You need to move, amigo. How do you get past you, partner? No, I'm trying. All right, what was the next? A white wall. Wait. Huh? Oh, I didn't have to go that way. I am such an idiot. Okay. I guess that the colors are confusing. <laughs> I thought this was a hallway. I haven't seen an upstairs that looks like this before. Your glass breaking, pro hacker secrets. Hey, 
pet carrier. Oh, rat. Is this for hair? Oh, sure is. Here, let's pick that up for Bertie. She might want it. Uh, here, let me swap positions with you. I'm not sure what's going on. I want to see if my map is more open now. Oh, yeah, that helped. A little bit. Just looking out, using my binoculars from the uh, second story window. Yeah, still intrigued by the riverside dwelling. Wouldn't be hard to get to either. We just go around the city and right to it. It's one of my dreams for Kunji to go get in a riverside dwelling and spend his days piddling on a uh, canoe or something. <coughs> I must have read some kind of guide to the city because I'm seeing all the gun stores, even though I haven't seen all the gun stores. Let's see if there's a hospital. No hospitals found yet. Uh, Self-esteem for dummies. <clears throat> Let's see if I've read. All. I haven't read any of these books. Okay, this is good, except for winemaking for beginners. I've already read that one, so we don't need to carry it around. It's a really nice place. And this door is locked. Let's apply the Halligan bar. There we go. Took more than one attempt to get into a locked bathroom. Here, nothing. Nothing whatsoever. It's so weird, okay? I mean, it wouldn't be weird in real life, but it's unusual in this game, it seems. We don't have a lot going on unless I want to actually climb to the roof, but uh, I'd be afraid to fall. And, uh, okay, I got my hacking back. Yeah, I'd be afraid that I fall off. Oh, yeah, I forgot to peek, didn't I? something that would help. All right. We cleared those three houses. Now we'll clear these two. Make sure everything is dory. This time I'm going to peek out. Okay, I don't see anything. Be a runner. Where's he at? Oh, he's seen us and he's to the north. Follow me, Bertie. I'm gonna hop this fence. Oh, I have to actually jump over the fence, wouldn't I? I wonder if she can do that. Get down, zombie runner, near enough to see us. Just follow me. Ah, she took care of business. Grabbed her and she whacked him just like that. Bloody clubs. Look at that. Some of these glyphs are bloody. But they're not filthy and they're not described as bloody. So it must be kind of a random chance or something. Don't see anything we need yet. Took care of business once again. Shut that door behind you. Alright, we're gonna uh, peek in this basement. Did I uh, forget to turn my heavy duty flashlight off? Yes, I did. Let's take a peek. Okay, in this basement, we've got children. I don't know what else. Anyway, it's just children. One of them will probably get me. He failed to penetrate my armor. Good grief. 
Uh, Birdie, that's bad in there. Sea level view violation. Zombie child. Zombie child tried to attack Birdie Hodges. Attack Birdie Hodges. Okay. Ah, here they come. See if you can handle what's going on there. Thank you so much. They clawed me seven ways to Sunday, man. Alright, let's swap positions again and I'll smash these. Candy coated peanuts and orange soda. small. Hello. Said, I swear I heard shuffling. Yeah, you did. They're here. I got closer to birdie. Oh man, he sliced right through my wetsuit. So we got an SD memory card. Ah, super glue. Needed super glue. I don't think we need a breadboard. Take a full battery, I guess. Multimeter, I don't think I need, but I'll take it. Small electric motor. Vacuum sealer might be handy, but that's too heavy to pick up. Multi tool, full medium. Back. Oh, I still need the flashlight. Uh, voltmeter, we don't have. Integrated circuits. I think you we've read what's a transistor. That's super blue. Overburdened. And my morale is terrible after killing all those zombie kids. So we need, uh, do we need the soldering iron? Everything's too heavy to pick up. So have I lost some strength? Yeah, I'm down a point on everything for being, I guess, overburdened. Insane. Well, let's see if we can cure all of those things with substances, shall we? Um, I want to take an aspirin, and then I want to... So anything with joy on it, right? I'll drink one of these children's orange sodas. That'll make us feel better about killing them. About all the candy we've got on us right now. The shelled almonds don't give much. Oh, the yogurt gives a lot of joy. I think it, it lasts a long time, plus it's sealed, so... It has a shelf life of 20 hours. Oh. Oh, we might as well eat it. That mildly helped <clears throat> our mood. We need to go drop this loot off, because I guess I'm weighed down with it. Alright, Kanji. Let's see, which house are we at? Did we make it to... We didn't make it to the end of the street yet, and we're already loaded down with loot. Easy to hey over there, tough zombie. And like entering the city from the edge is a completely different experience from what Mark is having. Starting out like three blocks from the nameplate in the middle of a large metropolis. He's had a horrible time. So far this has been painless. I know it gets a lot worse, but I'm just saying. Drop everything we just looted into there. Now I'm curious whether the trunk is full. How do I know? 
Okay, the volume is at 74 of 200 liters, so it should be good. All right, how are we feeling? We're down a pip on basically everything. We're unhappy and in mild pain. It's so bad that we're going to have to quit. So. Hey, buddy. Calm down. We got one more house to look at. Let's take the fire, uh, fire axe note off. Oh, goes down. Oh, speaking of goes down, let's get turn our flashlight off. And that feral human hasn't spotted us yet. Be carrying a pipe. I don't know about Kanji, but um, Mark Crump can knock a pipe wielding male maniac down to the ground. Turn it me two seconds flat. I think Kanji probably can't, especially because this fire axe is falling Prone to miss. All right, so we've got a couple tough so got a couple zombies down here. Uh, I think we should go ahead and get in the house to contend with them. So And here we have a bicycle. Gallon jug of bleach and a large plastic sheet. This is an open air garage? Okay. A3 player, Baker's Companion. I believe I've already read that one, so. Break a leg. What's that? Kids Guide to Acting and Stagecraft. Can I help you practice dodge? Oh, really? Okay. That's interesting. Vacuum sealer instructions, I think. Oh, yeah. How to use a vacuum sealer. It can also help you craft post apocalyptic caviar, salted fish. No. Root slices. Takes about eight to reach. Oh, man. Found some good books we haven't seen yet. I don't think we need flares. Ah, here we go. Peanut butter, maple syrup, corn cereals, and toastums. Is this a duplex? Yeah, I think this is a duplex. Soldier, incoming zombie soldier, southwest. He's coming in through that window. <clears throat> I think we'll greet him in the bedroom. Just like this. Shoulder to shoulder. Ah, he's after me. They didn't stand a chance against the two of us working together. Combat knife and a grenade. Ladies and gentlemen, he was carrying a grenade. <laughs> Alright, do we want to take any of this mole webbing? Mole webbing, assault pack, and belt, blood bearing vest. I don't know, one of my commenters was telling me that I needed to get into this mall stuff. So the assault pack is a backpack, and it's covered with straps. It strikes a fine balance between storage and encumbrance. You can attach accessory pockets to the outside rigging, which sounds pretty cool. 
So it's an encumbrance of six and twenty-seven when full. Uh, carries thirty-eight liters, eighty-eight pounds. Then got a pouch for a hydration pack. Two pockets with capacity and a pocket with capacity. There is a tactical grenade pouch. Then five more pockets, six more pockets. Holy cow. Yeah, I mean, that seems pretty interesting. Instead of the backpack I have on, it's basically a mole pack. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and grab it and we'll wash it. And then what's the webbing belt do? Uh, it gives you extra storage. Okay. Take the webbing belt. I don't think I need a combat knife. Uh, hop at the sheath, maybe. So I'll take that. Then the ceramic plates. So we've got a ballistic vest here. Um, I don't think the ballistic vest is going to be better for me. Than what I've got on, but... <clears throat> Army helmet's pretty good, right? Army pants. Um. We could take it and wash it just to see. Why not? It'll be an experiment. I want to catch my breath. And what's my current encumbrance? It's, uh, I'm carrying 15... 34 of 80 from 89. Yeah, it, it, uh, yeah, we'll see what it's like. If it's good, we'll get to it. It still freaks me out a little bit when she shuts the door. Oh, the AAA guide. Oh, here it is. Centipede spotted. Fair enough. A brightly colored mutant centipede the size of a small dog skittering quickly in the underbrush. Probably won't think you're suitable prey, but beware its venom. It has killed something down here. Like it killed a tough zombie. So, more or less, it's on our side. It's all the way down. Not too concerned about it. Let's finish reading the AAA guide. A chapter of the book takes 30 minutes to read, increases my morale, and can bring my vehicle's knowledge up. Okay. Whoop. All right, we got the Preston Restaurant Guide. Add roads and restaurants to your map. Uh, that was not super helpful, but okay, thank you. What is that? Trapper's life and warships. Trapper's life. Let's see what this is about. Help me craft a bear trap. Hell yeah! Now ah, that's what I'm talking about. Backpack, a great coat, and a pea coat, and a ski mask here. Let's take the ski mask. What is that? Kefia. Headdress worn in the Middle East used to protect the head and mouth from the <clears throat> Well, I think our inventory is full enough that we're pretty much done with this loot cycle. Let's swap positions with Birdie and head back and drop everything off. <coughs> I would think, uh, oh yeah, we can finish looting this kitchen here. I would say that our um, food loots have not been great. Oh, nope, I'm done. I can't carry anything else except this small cardboard box, which I'm going to fold dutifully. All right, so this house right here we'll have to return to once we've dropped our loots off.
can actually use that <coughs> nearby swimming pool. Excuse me. <coughs> we can actually use that nearby swimming pool to wash things if we wanted to. Well, since the feral human has not spotted us, let's head back to that. Like it's after something. Just saw it at a high rate of speed. Sorry, Birdie. Alright, we'll finish grabbing some food out of here. Yogurt, pudding, lemonade, cheese, and butter. And why not grab the uh, stout? Oh, because it's glass bottles. I need to be thinking about that, too. <coughs> when I'm turning down loot, uh, the glass bottles could be turned into Molotov cocktails. And beans there, dried lentils, we'll take those. Hunty needs to stay focused on getting various food items. Ooh, duct tape, we'll take the strings. Aluminum foil. Never seen that on a recipe, but surely it's on one. Well, put that. Plastic straws. <clears throat> Gallon size zipper bags. All right. Excellent. A look across the street here. I just recently learned how valuable these wrecked cars are for fighting zombies. <laughs> uh, making them crawl through those cars, gosh, it helps a lot. So I'm going to try to bear those in mind as strategic points. But we're just looking at streets full of houses, basically. <clears throat> Although what I've learned is, you know, now that we've cleared those four houses, here's our roadblock. I wonder if we could get one of these, we could start one and just move it out of the way, because this is basically a roadblock for me, for me to get my vehicle down the road. It's kind of annoying. So I could just drive down the sidewalk, I guess. Or if I was going to drive around, I could. I could just bring the car around over here, I think. It would be nice to have a closer by, anyway. Let's see, this is a... Uh, Zombie and a zombie, and a fat zombie. They were all killed, presumably by this wolf spider. Right, so when I was thinking about how um, I could just cut through the swamp, so-called, to get to here. <laughs> By the way, the riverside dwelling, yeah, here. Um, it could be very hazardous. I wonder if, though, if we could make it down the street to check out this house. Maybe I ought to bring the car down here first. And then uh, hop in this house. It's just a trip through the uh, safe, safe woods. And then we could hop down to the riverside dwelling and smoke it out. Now that puts us a little bit further into the city without doing any clearing. That's probably what it's but <laughs> We can now see all the way down the street to here. There's definitely no bridge. And all we've got is houses. That's, is that one giant house? No, it's a complex of houses. Yep, okay, well, the outskirts of the city are not nearly as interesting as the heart, heart of the city. I heard the window creak shut. Wow. All right, Birdie, this is going to be a little bit hazardous. Let's step out here. Okay, yep. All to the north. Oh, I see them. They're right down the road. I'm thinking this is okay because we can fight them over the car. And if it gets ugly, flee back into the house. So let's see if we can get any of them to notice us. There we go. I think we got one's attention. Two of them. Okay. Come on down, folks. <clears throat> I want to make sure that he runs in this car. <clears throat> Let's 
seal his fate pretty much because the move cost of going through the car is so high. I get a lot of free hits in on him. <clears throat> He's got a radiation badge. Oh, let's open the wallet. Nothing in there. Okay. One more zombie coming up from the swamp. Here. No, she's not coming up. She's battling the spider. Just looking, I'm wondering if uh, maybe there was a sewer entrance also. You see any sewer entrances? I see any on there? <clears throat> a long way from a gun store or anything. I need to get up on another high spot. That one right there. So those are all roofs. Oh wait, this house is a two-story house. Well, it's a totally different glyph. I wonder. I always call it a glyph. I know it's a tile. No, I'm calling it the wrong thing. All right. Well, I guess it's just a much fancier house, it seems like. We ought to be able to cross the street right there. We can go up here because we've already cleared these houses behind me. So if I cross the street right here, say get into this corner house, it should be fine. That's a little scooter. The medium storage battery. It's an electric scooter. Yeah. Cute little thing. So far, the zombies have not seen us. Chewing tobacco, you say. <laughs> Robotics kit for young learners. Instructions and blueprints for dozens of projects of increasing complexity. Introduction to toy robots. And help me practice mechanics. I can bring my mechanics to zero, or brains to zero, and my current is two. Yeah, I can bring my mechanics up to zero. Not the handiest thing. <clears throat> we have a disassembled bicycle out there. It's a bi or a bicycle with no uh, wheels, anyway. <clears throat> Pickled veggies, pickles, we'll take it, sauerkraut, and hard cheese, cheese, dark cola, yogurt, and a small car box. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that in the next episode, we are going to be able to go turn in these boxes to Dino Dave. That should be 40 by now. Seeing things correctly. There's a whole bunch of duct tape right there. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <clears throat> From the north, I heard glass breaking. Oh, it's in the other house. Coffee maker and a teapot. Sugar, probably always useful. Salt should always be useful. We'll take the seasoned salt. Honey never goes bad. That's a small cardboard box, and so is that. Uh-oh. Wow, birdie. That was amazing. <clears throat> oh, you know what else is nice about that? <laughs> this birdie took the morale penalty for me. 
And I'm actually in a little bit better mood as a result. Thank you, Birdie. How do you feel about killing zombie children? Doesn't bother you? Painkillers, cough syrup, gummy vitamins. Let's eat a gummy vitamin. <clears throat> I don't want to eat too many of this uh, side of the game. Alright, well, we're in the city now. I'm going to wrap up the episode right here. And thanks for joining me for the adventures of Kanji Garakawa and Bertie Hodges. We'll be back soon.